What's going on, everyone? Let's talk about Bitcoin. I wanted to address something that's been online a lot lately. Okay, so I've been seeing everywhere, all over the internet, this idea that you need to retire on your Bitcoin. What does that mean? That means selling your Bitcoin and living off of the dollars that you're getting from selling your Bitcoin, okay? Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, please do not sell your Bitcoin. Do not sell it. I literally told my wife as we're heading to this bull run, I said, please do not let me sell our Bitcoin, even if it gets to, and I, I gave a number, because we have to have the mindset of longevity. We have to have strong, long foresight. You got to see into the way future. You got to see how this is impacting your family for future generations. This is not just about you. You have to think about the future because look, Okay, if I'm going to, say, uh, sell what Bitcoin I have for $150,000, okay, you know, I, I, I'll i get $150,000 in, well, I'll have to pay a capital gains tax, uh, so that's a different story, but I, sure, I'll have $150,000, but at what cost? I mean, if you don't win, if you don't know what opportunity cost is, um, it applies here very strongly. Basically, it means... Uh, uh, um, it's what you miss out on, on the opposite of your decision. So if you're choosing, I'm going to go ahead and sell my Bitcoin now and get, rake in this cash. It's like, okay, but your opportunity cost is how much you would have had the future if you had not sold your Bitcoin. And we know that it goes up exponentially every four years on average, it goes up 55% every year. Why would you sell that? Now, I can understand if you got bills to pay and you got debt to pay off. Listen, do with your money what you want to. This isn't financial advice anyway. But I'm just saying, if you're trying to sell your Bitcoin, you don't know what Bitcoin is. I don't think you understand what it is. I don't, I don't think you get it. I mean, seriously, if you are like looking into how can I make money by selling the best asset the world has ever seen, you don't know what it is. And that's okay. But that just means you got to do your research. I implore you, do more research, learn more, understand what Bitcoin, understand why it was even made. If you don't know why Bitcoin was made, then you really don't understand what it is. And if you don't understand what it is, you should. Now, if you want to play the game of buying Bitcoin and selling Bitcoin, play the game. Please, by all means. But understand this. You're playing the little game. Don't forget the big game. This is why I'm saying you got to understand what Bitcoin was made for. The big game is getting away from the US dollar and from centralized governmental control of our money. That's the big game. The little game is make more money to go have fun for a short time. I mean, look at it like this. Okay, let's say I, I, I make $150,000 from selling my Bitcoin. What am I going to do with that money? What am I going to do with that money? You can do whatever you want. Uh, you could waste it. So I'm not going to list the number of ways you could waste it, but you could waste it. Or you could buy something that is really, really valuable to you. It could be a... a $150,000 not enough to buy a house, okay? By the way, if you held on to that Bitcoin, it would be enough to buy a house. Look at my other video. But uh, it would be enough for a down payment at the very least, or you could buy a new car, two new cars. I mean, you don't have to go crazy. Don't buy like a luxury car. Don't be don't be dumb. Okay, listen, listen, that's what I'm saying. Like, like don't, don't waste your money. Uh, but anyway, let's say you, that's what you want to do. Okay, fine. But that's kind of like a means to an end, right? Okay, well, maybe you want to reinvest that money. Okay, what you going to invest that money in? There's nothing better to invest in than Bitcoin. Not real estate, not bonds, not stocks. Nothing performs better except, except make maybe a... Uh, uh, um, Except maybe Michael Saylor's company over there. Uh, you might want to look into MicroStrategy stock because that that there's a lot of talk online about that one. So, but you, maybe we'll talk about that later. Aside from that, though, and that's because of Bitcoin. So that still kind of counts as Bitcoin. Look, it 
if there's nothing better to invest in than Bitcoin, then why would you sell Bitcoin for uh, dirty money is what we'll call it. Okay, the US dollar is dirty money. Or at least, at the very least, it's dying money. We all know that. So listen, this is just me saying, there's a lot of people online saying, here's your game plan for how to retire with your Bitcoin. And it's by selling bits of your Bitcoin. I don't think that's the answer. There's there's other ways. Um, when your Bitcoin is worth a lot, like we're talking like millions of dollars, um, then at that point you can leverage against it and borrow money against your Bitcoin as a uh, collateral. And that way, instead of losing your asset, uh, you get to keep it. And the money that you're living off of is tax free because it's technically debt. But because the value of Bitcoin is going to keep going up, you're not going to have to worry about not being able to pay back your debt. But do your research, like learn more about that stuff. And if I'm saying things that don't make sense to you, again, I don't think you fully understand. This is the revolution. So get out there, do your research, don't sell your Bitcoin, stack some stats and buy some Bitcoin because you need to do it right now.